Your laptop feels slow. Tiny 10 can cut the load and free your CPU fast. You want to turn a dead laptop into a daily driver. Tiny 10 can keep them running. Hi, this is Neil from Apatis. Let's check Tiny 10 2026 edition. So, let's begin. Let's start by creating Tiny 10 with the Creator tool. Open the Creator from our official website. The link is in the pinned comment below. Once the tool loads, press Build. The Creator handles everything on its own and prepares your Tiny 10 installer in the background. If you do not want to go through the build process, you can download the Ready Installer directly from our site. Both methods give you the same result. You might wonder why we rely on build 19045.3803. It is older, yes, but it works well for low-end hardware and simple setups. It needs about five gigabytes of storage. You still get Windows Defender. You still get the Microsoft Store and you continue receiving security updates. Many people also use it as a second OS for lightweight gaming. Make sure you have a valid Windows 10 license. Tiny 10 needs a clean and genuine base to activate and stay stable. The build will take a few minutes based on your connection and drive speed. When the log shows build finished successfully, your installer is ready to flash. Only download Tiny 10 from our official creator or from the direct installer on our website. This protects your PC from unsafe or altered builds. Next, let's look at Xeno, a small tool that installs Tiny10 without a USB drive. Xeno is included in the package. Open it and choose the Tiny10 installer you created earlier. Select the drive where you want to install Tiny10. Check that the drive has no important files because the format step clears everything. Set the file system to NTFS, confirm, and let Xeno handle the setup. In a few minutes, Tiny10 installs on that drive. After it finishes, restart your PC. You should see a dual boot menu with Tiny10 listed. If the entry does not appear, you can add it with a BCD editor like EasyBCD or Visual BCD. That is all. No USB sticks and no long steps, just a direct install. If Xeno gives you an error or you want a USB method, Rufus is a simple tool that works well. Plug in a USB with four gigabytes or more. Check that it has no important files because the process erases it. Open Rufus, choose your Tiny10 installer, select the USB drive, and start the write process. It takes about five to 10 minutes, depending on your PC and USB speed. When Rufus finishes, your Tiny10 USB is ready. Restart your PC and press the boot menu key. Common keys are F12, F8, or ESC. If you do not know the key for your device, a quick search will give you the right one. The setup feels lighter than a normal Windows 10 install. Select the drive where you want Tiny 10. Check the drive carefully because it will be wiped. Language and basic preferences come after the install. When the setup ends, Tiny 10 loads straight into the desktop. If you want faster performance without reinstalling Windows, you can use our app Velotic. It turns your current Windows into Tiny 10 with a few clicks. Velotic isn't a cleaner, it's a system overhaul. It raises FPS, cuts lag, and keeps your PC running like it's brand new, every single day. CPU and GPU are tuned automatically. Junk files are deleted before you even notice. Hidden slowdowns? Gone in real time. You get over 500 pro-level tweaks, one-click Windows debloat, instant app installs, and smart power management that adapts to how you work or play. It even compresses data safely to free up 70% more space without deleting anything. This isn't a quick fix. It's the same technology used by power users and studios to keep systems fast and reliable. Built over three years, tested by thousands and refined with every update. $19.99 once. Lifetime speed, zero effort. Velotic. Built for performance users who refuse slow. Now we move to the key step turning Windows 11 into Tiny11. Open Velotic, go to the Debloat page, and press play. The tool handles everything for you. With one click, your system reaches Tiny11 speed with no file loss and no broken features. You can check the full guide through the I button and the link in the description. When you reach the desktop after installation, open the Configure app and turn on compression. This cuts disk usage by about half, it needs some time to finish, and most users should enable it. After it completes, you get Tiny10 with Defender, the Microsoft Store, and updates working. The whole setup stays around 5 gigabytes. 
Standard Windows often takes 30 gigabytes or more before you install anything. Tiny 10 gives you nearly the same features in a much smaller footprint. You also get smoother performance on low-end hardware. Now that Tiny 10 is installed, you can set up your browser and get online. Open the Configure app from the desktop. You will see a list of browsers you can pick from. I use Chrome in this video. You can install Edge, Opera, or Firefox if you prefer something different. Tiny 10 does not lock you into any default choice. Tell me which browser you like in the comments. I read all of them and I want to see what most of you prefer for daily use. When you click Chrome, the install starts on its own. No extra steps. No pop-ups. The browser appears on your desktop in a few seconds. After that, you can sign in, sync your data, or keep it clean and simple. Once you are online, check out my YouTube channel and our partner channel. I post updates about new Tiny10 builds, optimization tricks, and tools that help old PCs run better. Subscribing helps you stay informed, especially when we release new versions. You will also find a link to our Discord in the description. Join the server and talk with other Tiny10 users. You can share tips, show your results, ask for guidance, and see early previews before they appear anywhere else. If your PC crashes or shows out of memory errors, you can fix it fast. Open the Configure app, enable paging files, and restart your PC. This solves most stability problems on the spot. Paging files stay off by default to save storage, but turning them on gives your system stronger stability. Now let's talk about drivers, one of the most important steps after installing Tiny10. Drivers let your hardware work the way it should. Graphics, sound, network, touchpad, and even your keyboard features depend on them. Without proper drivers, parts of your system can stop working. Tiny10 keeps the process simple. You do not need to search risky sites or deal with confusing installers. Open the Configure app and press Install Drivers. When the list loads, you can choose the drivers you want or press Install All. The tool handles the rest. Drivers matter for every user. Gamers and editors need graphics drivers for full performance. Laptop users need drivers for the touchpad, touchscreen, and function keys. Desktop users need drivers for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, sound, and power features. After the drivers finish installing, your PC runs at full strength. The hardware responds faster and the system feels consistent. Tiny10 keeps this step clean so anyone can bring their machine to proper working condition. If you want to know why premium Tiny10 is worth buying, here are the reasons. First, safety. The official build stays updated and secure. Sites that share free Tiny10 often bundle malware. Our version is the only verified and safe release. Second, performance. Premium Tiny10 is the smallest and most optimized edition. It works well on low-end PCs and gives smooth gaming performance. Third, support. You get direct help through Discord or email whenever you need it. Premium gives you Tiny10 with speed, safety, and real support. Thanks for watching. This is Apidus, signing off.